Hi. Every springtime when it gets near Easter and those Reese's peanut butter eggs come out, it is just torture for me. I love those things, or I used to love those things. And now I know that they're full of sugar and things that are really bad for my body, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying something like them. So we're gonna make homemade peanut butter cups, low carb today. Let's start with, I've melted some chocolate and I've tried to make homemade chocolate. I made three batches today and all was a fail. So what seems to work best is to melt a low carb chocolate bar. Now Sucrin makes a great milk chocolate um, and so does Coco Polo and so does Lily's. And Coco Polo is what I'm using today. I only had one milk chocolate because there are several folks in my family who love this and they get into it even though I try to hide my cooking stash. Um, and so I'm using one milk and one dark chocolate. My family really loves the milk chocolate better than the dark chocolate. Um, and Coco Polo is sweetened with stevia and erythritol, so it's really a nice mix. Uh, Lily's chocolate is also great, and like I said, Sucrin makes a great milk chocolate. This is just what I had on hand when I started making it today. And I did try to make homemade chocolate, but it ended up being fudgy. This is crisp, and after you refrigerate it and it sets up, it has that crunch to it. And texture, as you know, is so important. Okay, I'm going to start with the chocolate first. Now, what I did was I melted those two bars plus one tablespoon of refined coconut oil. I use refined because my folks don't like the taste of the unrefined. So I'm taking just a long iced teaspoon and I'm putting some chocolate in the muffin, in a muffin tin. This is a mini muffin tin. And you saw I didn't use much and I'm taking the back of the spoon and pushing it up the sides of the uh, muffin tin. So you just put a little bit and don't overdo it. You just want it coated. You don't want it super, super thick. And we're gonna do all of these and then we'll set them aside. Um, you can also do, my husband's like, why do you mess with the minis? Why don't you just do um, the larger size and you can certainly do that. He thinks that these bite size are just a total waste of time. If you're doing just the bite size, this makes about 36 of them. If you're doing the larger, it does not make as many. And again, you want to go really thin with the chocolate. Don't overdo it. I'm just filling it up right now and then I'll go back and smooth it out. But you want to do this first and then set it aside and let it cool while you're mixing up the peanut butter filling. I'm gonna hand this to my sweet G and I'm gonna let her finish pushing that up the sides. Again, you just wanna smooth it around um, so that when you add the peanut butter to it, it's gonna cover the sides. And I have, there you go, thanks sweetheart. I have some of the larger ones ready too that I can do that with. But she's gonna smooth that around and we're gonna make the filling. Filling is super, super simple. I have one jar, this is Trader Joe's creamy peanut butter, and I've just emptied the entire jar into my glass mixing bowl. That's all that I've done. And I have um, one eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can omit this, but I really love it. So I'm gonna add that in, and I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Pure vanilla extract, make sure there's no propylene glycol in it. You don't want the imitation vanilla. And we're gonna add the powdered sweetener. And yes, it can make a huge mess if you're not careful. Ooh. These peanut butter cups, I remember the first year that I made them, um, one of the recipes I've used calls for a little bit of honey just for texture. And I don't like using it. You can use it. I've also used a little bit of the Sucrin um, syrups, and those can work too if you have those on hand, just a quarter cup or so of the dark syrup. Okay, and now we're gonna mix this in. You want this to be super, super dry. I was looking around for my spatula. You want this to be super, super dry, and it almost becomes like a Play-Doh consistency. If it isn't, and you need it to be drier, you can add a little xanthan gum 
or some glucomannan, and that gives it a good texture as well. But you do want it to be somewhat dry. Now I did, when I put it in here, I did put the peanut oil on there, in there. Um, so don't drain that all. Okay, and I am using just the peanut butter, uh, or just, that is, uh, just peanuts and salt. It doesn't have anything else added to it. Okay, so once you have that done, what is really helpful is to make little peanut butter balls in advance. And when you make the little peanut butter balls, you can just put them on parchment paper, and then you wanna kind of smush them down. There's our technical term again. Press them down into like little discs. And the size you make them is gonna depend, obviously, if you're making um, the minis or the larger ones. But once you get them pressed down, it's just easiest to do it with a parchment paper. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna cover up any messes with chocolate, but just lay it down on top of the chocolate that you've already spread in the pan. <laughs> um, just goes right on top. Very easy to do. And I am making a mess, but this is very soft. It's very dry. Oh, excuse me, it's not very dry. I don't know whether I've used a different peanut butter in the past or just the sweetener. Um, I have just powdered um, granula granulated erythritol in the past. The peanut butter part is what's really best to us. So don't be, don't go, um, don't go not adding a lot to it. Now again, let me just say the number that of treats that this make really depends on who's in the house with you. And I know when my husband is in the house, he, um, it doesn't last as much because he likes to come by and reach around me and grab a couple of spoonfuls. So you might be able to use a half jar of peanut butter um, if you can get away with it. But anyway, you'll see I'm just laying it on top. It will look much better at the finished product than when you're putting them away in the fridge. You'll actually be surprised at how much better they look. And I'm doing it like this to try to keep my um, hands cleaner, but it's not working so great. And you will know that um, this is a little warm in here, and if my kitchen was cooler, it probably would behave a little better. Okay, almost got these done. Almost. I tried taking these two and rolling them in some melted chocolate, and you could do that like little buckeye balls, if that's what you wanna do. Um, we like them as Reese Cups. Well, I'm smushing them out and then rolling them up, but it's working. Okay, and you can see they're all in there. And now I'm just gonna cover them with chocolate. It doesn't take a lot. You're probably gonna do this and think, how on earth does she get 36? I really don't use a lot of chocolate. And you just want enough to barely cover it. It's very forgiving once it sets up. That's all I'm doing. Um, is burying the peanut butter in, with the chocolate. It's kind of nice to bury peanut butter with chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna finish covering these guys up and I will put them in the fridge. Our peanut butter cups got ready really quickly, so this chocolate is perfect for setting up. I have the miniature ones we did and then a couple of the larger ones. So let's take a peek at what they look like. Um, this is the mini that we did and I'm just gonna peel the paper off and actually they've been sitting out for a bit and they got soft on me. <laughs> and that's what they look like. They're so cute. I love the little ones. And for me, just one of these is really enough. Now my husband says it's not enough for him, um, but he, um, he has a healthier appetite than I do. And again, these have, had not been in the fridge long, so they're not real happy um, with me handling them. But they've set up really nicely, and I'm going to bite into one. I'm the only one here again <laughs> to try this. Everybody has a life except me. And let's take a bite. Mmm. You can see what it looks like. Mmm. There's a layer of chocolate. If it set up longer, my fingers would not be getting so messy, but I wanted to hurry and get this video done. Let's take a peek at the larger one. It's gonna be a mess, isn't it? Mm. 
Let's take a look at the larger ones. These are set up a little better and they've stayed cooler. They're thin, but um, I just took them out. Well, I took them out all at the same time, but I'm trying to cut it in two. You can see the peanut butter in the middle and it looks just like a Reese cup. Now, I wouldn't normally tear them up like that, but what I would do is take them out of paper. Gosh, <laughs> I would take them out of paper and just put them on a pretty serving tray and have them completely ready for Easter baskets. You can wrap them in some pretty uh, colored cellophane, tie it with ribbon. I would probably stack maybe uh, three of these up and tie it with ribbon and make them really pretty. I hope that if you make homemade peanut butter cups with, for your family, that they enjoy them as much as mine do.